Hello, hello. Gonna wait a few little bit, see if anyone else is gonna join on. Sorry that I missed everyone last night. Um, went and hung out with family for a little bit longer than I expected. It was great, but it was a little longer than I expected. So last night, unfortunately, I couldn't make it on. All right, so I'm gonna get started. So today, um, well actually yesterday, I got like three boxes worth of products and we're going to slowly get through them, um, like night at, every night. But um, today we're just gonna focus on two products. One is um, we're gonna focus on our Royal, not Royal, our um, Rose Water Toning Spritz. So a lot of people have not heard about this, and a lot of people don't use a toning spritz and wonder, what is the point of a rose water toning spritz? Why would I want something that roses have just soaked into to water? What would that be good for me? So that's one of the things that we're going to talk about today. Along with that excitement, I got my BB Flawless Cream. So what this is... Um, this is actually a tinted moisturizer, so they say you don't have to prime. I think that priming is just something I'm going to do regardless just to protect it. But what this is, and it's great for the summertime, I think every girl should have this in the summertime, is that it is a moisturizer, a foundation, and then also an SPF sunscreen. So three in one right here. So tinted moisturizer with SPF. So. I always think year round that you should be, you know, thank you. I think all year round that you should be wearing like a BB cream because of the SPF. All year round you should be wearing SPF. You want to have your face protected from the sun and the harm of the sun. Um, some of the things, for instance, is I have crazy uneven tones. I don't have horrible dark marks, but I do have some. And that's from, you know, my <sighs> fake baking all through high school. So it's going to be good. So... This color that I have here is actually going to be the Bisque, which is the one that's like, it's like a, instead of it being like foundation where there's like 20 colors, I think there's like five. So it's a little bit simpler. So it's not the lightest because I would expect to get, you know, a little bit tanner now that spring and summer is coming on. But um, it's like one step above, you know, being like Irish white. Um, so again, we will talk about this. We will put this on and see how it compares. First, I want to talk about the rose water. I literally spent about five minutes just researching specifically Unique's rose water because there are so many good things to it that literally I feel kind of stupid that I've never had it and that I've existed this long without it. So I'm literally going to pick up a piece of paper and read it because that's how many great things that it has. So when you use rose water, you're going to use it for a lot of different things. You can use it for if you shave and you have very, very sensitive skin when you're shaving. You can actually spray this on your legs or your armpits and allow that red itchy bumpingness that we have afterwards. It, it will help soothe that. For the summertime, for us white girls, the first time that we go out and get our tan and we burn the living daylights out of ourselves because our skin doesn't understand what the sun is anymore because we've been without it for so long. This will help soothe. This will be a good resource to help soothe your burn. So along with that, along with the itchiness from shaving, it'll help with your sunburn. Now, those are you know the things every once in a while. So what does it help every day? So one of the things that I'm going to start doing with it is I'm going to get some cotton balls or actually I have a lot of makeup wipes, um, like the little cotton ones I used to get my nail polish off. Spray it three times, put it under your eye in the morning. It'll help with your dark circles and your puffiness. I forever have these huge bags under my eyes. This is like my number one goal is to figure out how to smooth from here to hear out with the unique products and how to get rid of all these little mini wrinkles in the middle. 
Um, because even when I talk, I talk like this. I constantly have my face scrunched. I don't know how I don't suffer from migraines <laughs> or tension headaches, I should say. So my main goal is to do here and here and then figure out right here. Um, so this will help with the puffiness and it will help with the dark circles. Along with that, which we'll practice with for your makeup, is when we use our pigment, when we use our pigments, which I just got a bunch of colors in, it will actually make it bolder. So it'll take it from something that's a very simple, pretty color and it'll just little two spritz on your brush, dip it back in, and it will make it a bold, edgy look. So that would be, you know, used for that as well. Let's see what I missed. Oh yeah. Super important. It is also an anti it has antibacterial properties. So when you have acne and you have large pores, it will actually close those pores up and it'll shrink them. So when you use your mask, like we have um I'm waiting for it to come. I might do a sample live. We have our charcoal mask. Our charcoal max mask is actually something that pushes oxygen in and actually bubbles up and breathes versus tearing it off, which takes your hair, your good skin, and your bad skin off. So once you clear out all those pores or use the oxygen to clear out all those pores, now your pores are wide open. There is only so much primer can do. Primer is great, but there is only so much it can do. So when you finish cleaning off your face and doing everything, before you do your moisturizer, you are going to spray your face with the rose water and that will shrink your pores up. And since it's a, what is it, antibacterial, it'll actually help with um, any acne issues you have. Uh, also watched a story today on a girl who had psoriasis and her scalp made it look like she had dandruff all the time and actually uses this sprays in her hair and it helped. So if you have dry skin, this will also be a natural moisturizer. If you have um, really uh, oily skin, this will also help eliminate all of that shine. So that would be awesome for that. Also, because it's rose water and it's literally roses soaked in water, it's also used for aromatherapy. So for all of my Reiki girls out there, all of my aromatherapy people that really believe in essential oils, this helps with relaxing you. It helps you sleep and it gives you it helps with uh, your stress levels. And then for all my moms out there, all my moms dealing with diaper rash, this helps with rash. So not only does it help with acne, dark circles, under your bags, sunburn, all sorts of different things. It also helps with your kids for diaper rash. Um, let me see if I missed anything else. Oh, and then the very last thing after all of that. It's also a setter, so it's like all in one. So once you have your makeup on at the end, use this spray on your face, and then it would completely set your makeup for the day. Um, I used to use hairspray. <laughs> I feel like everyone's done that when they've gotten the perfect eye. They they did hairspray, whether that was when I was like 16 or yesterday. Um, but everyone uses, I feel like at some point, whether professionally or not, a setting spray, they were using hairspray. So... This is going to be awesome for that. It's a nice setting spray, so it'll help keep your makeup on longer. So I feel like every, everyone should have this because I feel like everyone should just be using it for whatever their issues are or just to constantly keep your face protected, keep your pores smaller. I mean, so many, many different things. This thing is like an all-in-one amazing for um, your skin, and it's used worldwide. Um, it is vegan. It is not tested on animals. There's no need for that. I mean, none of the products test on animals, but I mean, this thing's awesome. So I'm going to start my day with my rose water. Let's get these bad boys off. So I haven't even sprayed it yet, so. All right. Okay. Ugh, and it really does smell good. It literally smells like my face was just doused with a bouquet of roses. Okay. So the reason I'm doing it now is I'm doing it as my pre-moisturizer. Um, I have not exfoliated my skin yet, but um, when I take my makeup off and do it, I will do it again, and then that way it'll close my pores. Um, I did take a lot of pictures today of my face. I had a lot of people uh, saying how nice my skin looked, and I really, really appreciate that because I work very, 
usually very hard right now I'm letting it go but usually work very hard on my skin I feel like since I was 29 turning 30 I feel like my skin just like flipped on me I, I don't know what happened I never suffered with ac acne blemishes redness dark spots anything like that until the past like year or two uh, and then it was like all of a sudden it was all over it wasn't like a I'm turning 30 and now I'm worrying about things I literally my skin just flipped on me um, so I'm excited to try this so rose water and now we're gonna try our BB flawless <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to get a bunch more it's almost like a perfume it smells so good oh my goodness okay so our BB flawless so a lot of people have been waiting for this because it is like your foundation your moisturizer and your and your primer I'm still going to prime because I just feel like the more prime the better so I'm gonna get my primer out and guys feel free to talk it can be about the weather it can be about anything at all all right I'm sorry if you can hear that dog out back my neighbor got a dog and he's so cute It does, and it's funny, I went, it catches up so fast. I actually went to my first uh, facial dermabrasion with, um, I actually went to Ulta, and I recommend that. Um, I went to the one that is in Quaker Town, and the lady there, she's from Ukraine, she was amazing, so sweet. I wish I knew her name. Um, she was almost shocked on the lack of skincare, because we don't do that here. There in Ukraine, they do it like every three months or every six months. They go and they get a facial, dermabrasion, chemical peel, the whole kit and caboodle. Because to them, it's like going to the dentist. It's just part of your ritual. So she had mentioned, you know, uh, I had told her that I was extremely wrinkly and dehydrated here, but I was super oily. So I couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, here I was so dehydrated that literally my skin was overproducing oil and it wasn't, it wasn't absorbing into my skin. Um, she even mentioned eye cream. I was like, I never used that. She's like, you should have been using eye cream since you were 18. And I'm like, oh, how do I get those 12 years back in my life? So lots of different things. I always recommend going you know, once every six months and just having them do a dermabrasion, clear up your face, help with anything at all, just to get you some skin knowledge because I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, so our primer is on. So now we're going to move on to the BB Flawless and not to be repetitive, it's just for those who join a little bit later, is our BB Flawless is our moisturizer, tinter, tinted, it is a tinted moisturizer with primer in it and SPF 25. It is number one for I haven't even opened it it's still sealed <laughs> haven't even used it yet ladies I told you I do this live we are going to do it live um, and it has SPF 25 so it is number one I think summer product to be using every day so even if like you go to work and use it and then you come home and you want to go out and put on you know our liquid foundation or something like that I just feel like you should always have this on um, I do not have the liquid foundation brush. It is on the way. So I'm going to use a regular brush that I use. Actually, the one that I use for um, my primer. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hands. And actually, because this is new, I had a little bit of buildup, so let me just clear that off real quick. And you'll get, whenever you girls get all of your... Uh, your products it will tell you that um, you should wait 24 hours to use them because of that so I have no idea how much to use so I'm kind of winging it so right now I'm taking about this much so it's just a little sweep and let's see We are going in. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So it is a little bit thicker because of that moisturizer. Right. 
and it's a light coverage. It's not meant to cover everything up. It's just meant to smooth out your skin. and to be kind of a light foundation. You see, it is a tinted moisturizer, so it's just going to smooth out everything for me. Smooth out all my tone, all my redness. And I apologize, this is a very terrible brush. This is what I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it when I brush it, you can kind of see it. It's just a bad brush. It has nothing to do with the makeup. All right, so we got that on. So our tinted moisturizer. It's nice because it filled in. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me steal you. It filled in all my pores here. So my face is super, super smooth. And then it has the moisturizer on it, so I can still kind of feel it uh, drying a little bit. But my skin's really, really soft from it. Obviously, didn't do a good job. And yeah, it's definitely, it's much drier. It's a great every single day product, going to the beach, whatever it may be. So it doesn't cover everything up, but it definitely, like, all my redness that I have in my, like, some people have triangles, I have square right here. So all my redness that focuses down the middle is completely gone. So my face is, like, a single color, but you can still see, like, my natural blemishes. And again, this has the SPF 25, <clears throat> so out in the sun, you'll be protected, which is so important to your skin. All right, so next I'm going to do my blush. So I have the Minerals Blush. The Ooh, sorry. I was just, you know, about to drop everything. So the color that I have, uh, it's backwards, so it's hard, but the color that I have is sweet sweet is a really light color I mean I know it looks kind of bold in this picture but it is a really light color um, it's actually perfect for my skin tone skin tone so if you are white white with like really pale with like warmer tones this will really really compliment you yes it'll be perfect for your trip to Disney it'll be perfect for everyday use but to go to Disney it'll be nice and light and you'll have moisturizer at the same time and the 25 so perfect for your trip to Disney. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so uh, one day this week I'm going to put, um, no, I will when I get the concealer. Actually, the one um, package that I had purchased uh, or bundle collection that I had purchased unfortunately is the last one to come. So I'm still waiting for it to ship. Um, and I think strictly because all of us went crazy over it because it was like a deal of a lifetime. So I'm just adding some blush. And just to give you guys an idea, like this is like too bold for me, so I'm actually going to rub some of that off. <laughs> but just to give you an idea of what I just did for my blush is I literally went tap, tap. And that did all of this and all of that. So one of my favorite things, and again, I, I'm doing all of this live, so I really don't know too much about the unique products except for what I've been watching over the past six months. And that's based on someone else's experience as they always talk about how everything lasts forever. So when you buy your mineral or when you buy your BB cream or you buy your foundation or your eyeshadow, you use a very little bit. And since you use a very little bit, it will last you forever. And it's not even like it's crazy expensive because a lot of times when things last you forever, they charge out the wazoo because it's going to last you forever. Unique does not do that. Okay. So because this is a moisturizer and because it is just like, like I said, a tinted moisturizer, 
I don't see it having, I'm going to pay attention because I'm not going to go ahead for a few more hours. I don't see it caking here or having an issue with oil here, so I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to leave it how it is as its natural form because it feels very natural on my face. So we are going to move on to our eyeshadow. So today we are going to do something new. And I'm also going to show you how the rose water comes into use with the pigments. So our pigments are our eyeshadows. Dun, 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 dun. Bear with me while I find the color I want. All right, so today we're going to mix. So first things first is actually we're going to talk about our splurge creams. I am obsessed, obsessed with our splurge creams. So the other day I'd done a look with you and I wanted to see how bold our splurge creams were that I actually with one brush swipe covered up my entire makeup <laughs> with the splurge cream. So this is your splurge cream. I don't know if you can see how shiny and shimmery and glittery. It's not like glittery, but super shimmery. It's just so beautiful. This is going to be probably my favorite color. It is called Elegant. And you can get um, bundles of these. So you can get like three of these together, which will save you a lot of money. But so this one is, what I say, Elegant? This one is Elegant. So I'm going to use this as my base color. And because it's never been used before, I'm just kind of like opening it up in a sense. Getting it started. You have to be careful with the splurge creams not to leave them open, so make sure they're closed because it is like a liquid. Um, the splurge cream is a cream to powder. So when you put it on, it's a cream, and it dries into a powder, and it will not crease or anything like that here. So I'm going to start with my splurge. I don't know how much we need to use. Evidently not a lot. Can you guys see that shimmer? Can you see how shimmery that is? It's just, ugh. I would honestly just wear this color by itself. Get your summer BB cream. Get your light splurge cream. Go to town. It is, I, I really, I don't know if it'll do justice in the idea of how shimmery this is. It is so, so shimmery. Okay, again, put it on the lid. And again, a lot is not needed. So I'm going in like this right here. And I'm just tapping my brush on it. That's it. And it's like almost like a foam. It's hard to explain. Almost like a foam and it is covering everything up. So now that this side is dried, it is actually now a powder. So no longer is a liquid, it is a powder. So it's nice with the liquid because it allows you to maneuver it around and push it around in places that you need. And then in about 30 seconds, it will dry into a powder, which then also you can go in with like a powder brush and maneuver and, and you know do whatever else you need. But it's great to have the different options. All right, so we have our splurge cream down. So the one thing I want to do... with the pigment. And the pigment that I'm going to use today is called Confident. So it is actually uh, a pretty dark brown. So what I'm going to do, put some on my lid here. Sorry for the tapping noise. Is I'm going to do one eye without the rose water and then I'm going to come back to this eye and do it with the rose water and it will look like completely different look. So not only can you use this for your pores, but then you can use it to create a million different looks with just one color of eyeshadow, which is so cool. It's very, very versatile. All right, so I'm going to take this, put it down here on my bottom lid and then bring it up top. So this is our pigments. The pigments come in a shimmer or they come in a matte. It has, God, I want to say like 20 selections and I barely used any and it is just filling it up. Like when you look at my lid, 
There you go. There's really not much on there. It's a very little bit. I always feel like also with this, like as I'm doing this, the splurge cream's doing a good job to really adhere to this and really keep it on there. Okay. And then we're just going to smooth out our lines. So now I'm going to go on to the rose water. So the rose water, I'm actually going to directly spray the brush. I'm just going to do two spritz. I'm going to go in here, pick up the pigment. So using the pigment definitely made it stick a little bit more than this side. So when you go in and use the rose water, definitely take your time and layer it up. All right, I'm just going to go in there and do some circles, get it spread out. Just because, like I said, I wasn't too prepared for it to be that solid. So this side, you can see in the corner here, is a little bit darker than this one. What I should try with this one, just as a learning right now curve, is that I should try it with like a purple or green or something like that where you can really see a huge difference because I've seen it done a million times. <laughs> this just is not doing justice. So this is nice and dark, and this one's a little bit lighter. It's just really hard to tell right here in this light how bold that is to this. So if I use like a green, you would see like a light green versus like a dark green. Okay. And because I love that splurge cream, thoroughly obsessed, I am going to go back in and just highlight underneath my brow and use it as like my brow highlighter. It is so shimmery. I love shimmers. It is so, so shimmery. So what do we think? Do we like it? Is that a good color? All right, so that is on. And then today, I got something super exciting. Gotta find it. Because I won't give it away until I find it. And just so you know, guys, with the video, which I didn't realize, but there is a delay. So if you send any, like, um, messages to me or anything like that, um, it does take me, like, almost a minute for it to show up on my side. So if I don't answer your question right away, it's strictly because I am just getting it. Yeah, exactly. I know. It is crazy. I've gotten so many compliments at work because I keep playing with everything. So when I go into work, instead of doing my, wake up, my makeup at work, it's actually, uh, got it, it is actually uh, all like fully done to the nines, gotten so many. I got my liquid eyeliner. Ah, so happy, I'm so happy. So I'm going to test this one day at work and see if it upholds to my favorite one and see how it deals with daily eye watering because my eyes always water and to see how long it lasts throughout the day and I'm just so excited because I am not good at a pencil like it's official I'm going to keep going strong with a pencil but the wing look is just so much better with this bad boy so what's our golden rule we're going to go from the eyebrow to here so you want your wing to go up towards that uh smooth like butter oh did you see that just bam, simple, done. 
seal the deal. That was so easy. I'm going to bring it over to the corner. So the tip of this, see how small that is? Do you see it? It is so pointy. So I was able to go super, super thin here. Usually this is like a really hard spot for me. But I was able to go super thin here and then have it meet in the middle. So over here, same thing. I mean, can you see how small that line is? That's tiny. It is so precise. All right, sorry, let me connect it. Stop talking so much, Brittany, and like just do your makeup. Oh, you know what else? This is not dried out. Usually I have to like really go at it here because I'm trying to get as much pigment as I can out of it or liquid and it is still super, super wet. I am beautiful. All right, I'm just going to connect it down. So I take it from the corner that I made and bring it down under my eye. Same thing here. It just intensifies the look a little bit more when you do this. You don't have to. And especially throughout the day with my super watery eyes, I tend to lose that connection. But while it lasts, it's gorgeous. And then when you, if you do lose it, it still makes sense because it still follows the same line and it still pulls your eyes up. Still says, look at me, I'm so pretty. All right, so, look at eyeliner was awesome. I know every day I'm following them with Unique, like every day. Um, thank you for joining on my excited journey of just getting me out of my everyday rut because I have so much fun doing this. I get so excited to go live with you. Granted, I get so nervous because it's live. Who knows what could happen? But I have so much fun doing this. So thank you for joining me. All right. So we used our splurge. We used our pigment powder. We've used our rose water. And we're going to go back over rose water again for those who joined after because this thing is heaven. It is like key to so many things in your life that I'm just going to throw it on the ground. That's what I mean about these lives. I'm just going to throw it on the ground but does everything for you. So we'll come back to that. I have more excitement. More excitement. There is so much more to do. Are we ready for the next exciting thing that we're going to try together for the first time that I am absolutely like per what was I saying? petrified to try live because I've never done it. And I'm still new to the eyebrow game. So we got our brow palette. So our brow palette is like an artesian for your eyebrows. So let's see what this bad boy is all about. And it's numbered. So I'm just going to follow the numbers and we're going to go from there. And if I get done and I look scary, then obviously I need to go watch a video to, to show you how to use it. But we are going to wing it because that is what we do when we're live is that we wing it. Because I'm winging it, winging it, winging it. Only if I find it, though, right? Because i got to find it. Got it. And part of me was hoping I'd find it. I'm so nervous to do it live. All right, so with this, something that I really hope that they will fix is one thing that bothered me with it was that you get this, but you need a tool. The tool doesn't come with it. 
you have to get it separately. So if you're thinking about getting this and you want to get the tool with it, um, I'll see what kind of deal I can do for you to get it together because to me it's vital together. I'm sure you can, you obviously can get this somewhere else. You might already have something like this. Um, but let me know if you're thinking about getting this and I'll see what I can do. So one side of the brush is angled and then the other side is flat. Why do you need two sides? I'm going to explain that to you. So I chose the blonde because naturally I, like I said before, I don't like to have a bold eyebrow. I like to have like one there and I like to have it defined, but I don't want it to be super bold. So I chose the blonde. So you can do blonde, brunette, and dark brunette. And whatever one works for you is what works for you. Um, they actually show examples of them, the whole kit and caboodle. So me, I chose the blonde. Um, we have step one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to do one, two, and five. And I'll explain why I'm not doing three or four right now is because I actually use the splurge to highlight. So four, three and four is actually to highlight. One and two and five is to do zebra. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go, I'm actually going to do the highlighting. I'm going to do it above to make my eyebrows stick out more. Girl at my work does that. I love it. I couldn't figure out why her eyebrows were so awesome. I used to stare at her. And be like your eyebrows are amazing and she actually does highlight on top so we'll see what that does I'll do highlighting on one we'll see if there's a huge impact or not so one and two you are going to take your angled side of your brush right here instead of your flat so this is flat you're gonna take angled you're going to put it into one which is the not so dark and as you're using this and over time I'm sure maybe two works better or whatever it may be. But what you really want to focus on is creating a good underline and then bringing it up. So. And I don't know how much pigment is needed, so I'm going little by little. I'm barely touching it. Okay, so I have this created, and I'm just going to bring this over to the top. So, as I'm sure you've heard before, but if not, and this is your first time joining me, thank you for joining, but your eyebrows, sisters, cousin, maybe not blood related, but they are not twins. Don't try to make them match. It's not going to happen. They're just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you color in your full, your whole forehead. They will never match. They have two completely different personalities. Right here and right here of my eyebrows, they, or there's nothing similar to them. All right, so we outline. So you're going to go in now with two, again with your angled brush, and you're going to create your eyelashes. So, eyelashes. <laughs> your eyebrow hair is to be more um, filled, be more there. So I'm just going to take this and go from the bottom and follow how my eyebrows go. and just fill it in. So me, see how that's nice and square, not my forte? I'm just going to go in this corner right here and go like that. And the reason I can do that is because I haven't sealed them yet. We will be sealing them. So don't think that it just rubs off. It's strictly because we haven't sealed them yet. So there is eyebrow one. So this is a little bit bolder than what I would do. So for me personally, I would just stick with one the whole way through. But that's just me. I'm not saying this looks bad by any means because now I have a very defined eyebrow. So we're going to go in with one again. Just hit one. <laughs> in my mirror, if you could see that, it says a thousand and one beers you must try before you die. We are beer snobs in this household, to say the least. And you're just going to draw that line. And I'm just going to take a little dab and just go right over here because I always feel that your underline should be nice and bold. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to draw my line here. And what's my rule, ladies? Your line should match the corner of your eye. It should be in line. If you go further in, you're going to have like a pinched forehead looking look. If you go further out, your forehead's going to be like, hello, I'm here. 
I'm here to party and the rest of the face is down here. So make sure that you line that up perfectly. Or I shouldn't say perfectly, as close as you can. Then instead of doing the top like on this one I did, I'm going to then go in with one and I'm going to create it as we go with the making it look like I have more eyebrows, more eyebrows. Because we're learning together, ladies, learning together. And that to me is a much more natural look than this one was. So that's why we learn. That's how we learn. Practice makes perfect. I can't do anything about that one, so we're just going to let that one go. So, we are going to go in, hmm. I'm going to go with a flat brush. So, these two up here are a powder, and these are a cream down here, I think. Yes, they are a cream. I've never used them before. Don't you judge me. Don't you judge me, Lash Ladies. So, I'm going to go in. I took a little bit of three, and I took some four, and I'm just going to bring it right above here. We're just going to highlight. It's funny, we went from like this beach face to now we're getting like technical. And then on this side, same thing. I'm going to use just four on this side, just the white, just to highlight it. And actually, I like it with the pink, so we're going to go back in. All right. So we are all highlighted, so it's going to make it stick out more. So now that we have a powder on, you're probably thinking, it's a powder. How in the world is that going to stay there? Like, I literally just watched you take this and make a corner out of it and make it not so square. So how is it not going to rub off? That is where number five comes in. Our gel. So this gel, I don't know about you ladies. I've had a gel where I've done it and then literally like it's, it's like you could like flick your eyelashes or eyebrows and I've had some where it just doesn't make sense so I'm intrigued to see where this one falls I'm gonna kinda compare it to hairspray to see if it's like a firm stay or, or what it is so let's go in and try but this is again you're going to use your flat so use your flat end and you're going to go into your five okay and then you're just gonna go follow your eyebrows you're just gonna set that powder in there. So this is, it's like a, a gel wax. I don't know if wax is like the appropriate name for it, but it's kind of like that. I'm going to go over here and do the same thing and set it. Because I feel like the main goal with number five really is so your eyebrows aren't crazy. So me right here, these eyebrows go um, straight up and then these eyebrows go in. So I feel like with this, what you're trying to accomplish is really just getting it so they match each other and then they stay in a unit. The one that I have from Ulta, I can't think of the name of it, not that that matters. It's literally like a firm hairspray. Like if I was going to a dance recital and I took a toothbrush and I put all my strays down and I made it silked against my head and then just went And just took out an ozone layer. That's kind of what the one is I have there. So I'm going to kind of let this dry, maybe. I don't really know. We're just going to kind of leave it alone and we'll come back to it. So that was my eyebrow palette. And this is actually blonde. So see, I'm actually glad I did blonde because I really wouldn't want to go much darker. So this is me staying at a two, number two. And this is me, I'm sorry, this is me staying at a one. And this is me mixing one and two, which was very bold. So this would be really nice if you're going out at night in town. This is more like an everyday wear. And when we get better, we will be faster. But also when I'm explaining it, I'm much slower. Where in reality, I probably could have done that in 30 seconds. But again, going out, going to the beach, going to Disney World. I'm so jealous. Kelly, or not Kelly, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just saw Kelly joined. Hey, Kelly. Um, Kristen, when are you going to Disney? It's like my favorite place in the world because I'm just like your sister where we, you know, have soda around bonfires and then we sing Disney movie songs all night long and we irritate my husband, Steve. He loves it. When are you going to Disney? And why aren't you taking me with you? I mean, why wasn't I invited? You can't say your family's taking you because your family should have invited me. I would have brought the ketchup. All right, so next we are moving on to 
our favorite part. It's everyone's favorite part, whether you want to say it or not. We're moving on to those eyelashes. All right. And it's my favorite part, and because you guys watch me and join me on this adventure, that is why you guys are called my lash ladies. All right, so mascara has two parts. What? Two parts. Why? Because we are going to be doing a falsy look today. So you have two parts. You have a gel, and then you also have a fiber. Um... So you can go from very simple look, like an everyday look, and you can just do the gel or like one layer, or you can go crazy and go bold and do two layers, three layers, four layers, however many you want. But I get these bad boys to touch my eyebrows. That's how far I can get them to go. So today we are going to do, we'll do two. I like two. I feel like two is a great middle spot. So no longer are you dealing with glue and falsies, and I don't even know how much they cost anymore, but I know they're crazy expensive and... They're just, they get like such a buildup on them. They just never look right to me. So this, you buy once, lasts you forever. We'll see what forever is. All right, so first you're going to start with your gel. This is what the brush is like. I find the brush to be super important. This was not my typical brush. I liked the really big ones, but this is actually hasn't been bad for me. Hasn't bothered me at all. So what you do first is you're going to add your gel. So add our gel. Do this one first. We're going backwards today. And the one thing I've learned along the way is I wasn't putting enough gel on there for my fibers to attach. So this would be regular mascara on my eyes. Let me actually, just for example, we'll do it to this side so we can compare and contrast once I add the fibers. So I got normal mascara on my eyes. Usually I make a lip look like natural. Alright, so I'm just getting these wet again to put the fibers on. And I'm going in with the fibers. I'm going back in with the gel to seal them or to add a second layer. And rule of thumb, ladies, I feel like I'm repetitive, but it's important. Go slow. I go a little bit faster. If you guys remember the first time I did it, I was so slow at it. So let's compare layer one. Regular mascara, because this gel is like a mascara, so regular mascara, layer one. Can you see the difference? Give me some likes, give me some love if you can see the difference. I can't tell because I'm not looking, I can't tell if I'm giving you a good look. So now we're going to go in with our fibers. Thank you. And then we are going to add our gel. And this will be our final today. We won't do another one. We'll stick with two. So I don't have work until 1 tomorrow, so I think after I do this, I'm going to go get a drink. And I'm going to go get some wingies. Wingies, wingies. And then there's two. Can you guys see a difference between 1 and 2? Is it significant? I would love to know. I just keep going. But between like doing one layer and then doing two layers, uh, just comment and let me know what you think. And again, remember, I can't see them right away. It takes about a minute for them to come in. Also, keep in mind, depending on what kind of eye you're trying to get, if you are trying to get, you know, a hello, I'm here, and a bold eye, make sure that you're taking your eyelashes and almost like brushing them this way. Because that will make these stick straight up. 
if you're just doing like a I'm going to work look, just follow how your eyelashes go and do the natural look to it. I don't use an eyelash curler. I know that's weird. I use my fingers. I don't like eyelash curlers because it only took one pinch of my actual eyelid to go, ha <laughs> no thanks, and I threw it away. Okay, so with my lashes, with a regular mascara. Can we see it? Alright, so now I'm going to go back, and now we need to do this eye. So I just need to add a little bit of gel, because we need some stickiness to our lives over here for our lashes to latch onto. Our lashes to latch onto. It's perfect. Alright, and we're going to add our fibers. I mean, do you guys remember how slow I was at this? <laughs> Practice makes perfect. All right. Okay, and then we're just going to gel on the bottom here. So for those who missed the beginning, we were talking about rose water. Rose water is a million different things in one bottle. It is aromatherapy. It helps reduce stress. It helps with diaper rash. It helps for when you shave and you have terrible bumps. It helps with the irritation. Um husbands that we know use them. Um, it is used for closing your pores up, all that jazz, and it's also used for a setting spray and you can use it as a perfume too if you want to. It's used for so many different things. Alright. So all you guys that have been following me have seen me finish my makeup a million and a half times already. And this whole face is with the moisturizer. The tinted moisturizer. I'm missing, there it is. And then today, since we did a nice simple eye, we're going bold. I have been dying to use this color for so long. This is perky. So this is actually a lip liner, but we're going to use it as our lipstick today. So, look at that color. It is actually, it looks a little bit darker, but it's actually like a bright pink. It is gorgeous. That would look scary. Remember back in the 90s when people did this? They did like the lip liner, like dark brown and like a clear lip gloss. And don't say you never did it. You did it, and you know you did. And if you didn't, then ugh, congrats, you made out like a bandit. Because <laughs> I didn't, I did it. This is also, so you know, the product that I tested that when I went on my arm. I'll show you. We'll do it again. On my arm. We're going to let that dry.
the nice bright pink. Oh, I left my Bon Bon lipstick downstairs. That makes me so sad. Oh, so today I used the Bon Bon, which is um, like a chapstick. It's, it's a lip balm, but or lip balm, but we call it Bon Bon. Um, the Lip Bon Bon is actually a moisturizer for your lips. I used it all day today. I've been wrestling for days with my chap lips. I just got an update. I'm sorry. The flyers are winning. <laughs> um, that I literally, in one day of using that, I no longer have chapped lips. It felt like I had old lady wrinkly lips. It was so weird. They were so dehydrated. And in one day, it was like gone. Absolutely gone. Now, granted, I was using chapstick for about five days. So eventually it was going to happen. But really, I mean, in one day, gone. So in a nutshell, where'd it go? You should see the disaster I have over here with boxes of makeup. Where did she put her... Oh, I remember I threw the rose water on the ground. I got it. So rose water also used as a setting spray. So I can't tell you how good that smells. So this will give you a little bit of a dewy look. For those who don't like a matte look, this will give you a little bit of a dewy look. And I'm going to go real quick through the list of what this does again. Because to me, this was my main concentration. Because I think that every single man, woman, and child should have this. Child for their diaper rash. And when they get sunburn. For a man, when they shave, it'll help with the bumps. Um, for sunburn, for everyone, also will help with the burn. It's antibacterial, so it helps with acne. So not only when you use your charcoal masks or use whatever you use to exfoliate out your pores, this will help make your pores smaller, so it'll shrink it down. And along with doing that, it'll help with the elasticity of your skin, which will help eliminate these circles and these stress lines that we get from whatever life is throwing at you every day. Um, along with that, so I don't miss anything, if you have oily skin, it gets rid of the shine. If you have dry skin, put it on before your moisturizer and it'll just be another barrier for your moisturizer. It'll add moisture to your skin. Dun, 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 dun. Did I forget anything? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, the one that I'm really going to focus on is we're going to take uh, like a little makeup pad. Like I use like get like nail polish off my skin or people use for foundation, um, like a cotton ball circle cotton ball flat I'm gonna spray it do like three spritz and put it under here I can't figure out how to get rid of these bags so once I get concealer I'm hoping that will help um, but I can't figure out how to get rid of these bags so it helps with um, puffiness so it helps with your bags and it also helps with your dark circles under here so that's what I'm also going to be using it for. And if I didn't say, it's also good if you do Reiki or anything like that. You understand, like, the importance of having aromatherapy around and having essential oils. It also helps with it be with you being less stressed. So if you look up what rose oil is, because that's literally, it's water soaked with roses and all the oils from the roses go into this. It is It helps you have a little bit more of a stressless life and it helps you sleep better. So, this is by far my longest video ever, and I apologize. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, if you have any questions about anything you see today, or if you're interested in getting what every girl should have, rose water, you can use it for anything. I'm going to be getting multiples. I know I have two more coming in, so I can have one at work as well. Um, let me know. I'm here to help you along the way. I appreciate you, Lash Ladies, joining me on this adventure thus far. I really appreciate it. I've been having a blast. Um, to go see the products and what they cost, you're going to be going to my website. My website is beyourunique.com, and it's be your, like Y-O-U-R, and unique is Y-O-Unique.com. Um, yeah. The reason I chose that name is because everyone's different. I love that about everyone. So no matter what makes you unique, take it and run with it. 
being unique is like your behind you little white freak flag let it fly be unique be you because you can only be you you can try to be someone else but you're not so be you be unique and choose to be your unique if you have any questions my name is Brittany I am a yellow status presenter for unique and again thank you for joining me on my video and on my adventure so far um, if you have any skin questions about the rose water or the eyebrow kit or anything like that just reach out to me private message me um, if you want to if it's something that's personal it'll always stay private with me I mean you can send me pictures and I, I will never so just let me know and I'm here to help I'm just here to to help all right, so thank you for joining me again. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to go drink beer and have wings with my beautiful face. Have a good night. Mwah.